Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project car rental system and I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I am using PHP version 7 and MySQL version is 5.6. So this is a web application. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript and some of the jQuery library. As you are seeing that there is a slider running on the home page and it's coming from the jQuery. Also like form validations, date calendar plugin integrations. Uh, for these all things I have used the jQuery plugins right for server I am using the jam server and uh, for running this project right for uh, ID I am using Visual Studio code for writing the codes so these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project car rental system so let's start with the functionality go through that what are the features available what are the functionalities available inside this project so the project title is car rental system and it's a mini project mini project because customer there is only customer operation there is no admin operations available inside this project only customer can book the tickets uh, sorry book the cars right so this that's why this is a mini project but if you need the measure of this project then we have the major project also available on the website you can check so once you run this project you will get this home page so you, this is the static home page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a about page and this is also a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right so you can if you want to change the content you can change from about.php and index.php right this is a book a car from here uh, you can book the car right so as i told you there is no admin so you can't uh, log in as an admin right and also you can't book a car without login so if you don't have the uh, id password then you can register from here so this is a registration form from here you can register and after that you can book the car this is a car list all of the cars which is available in the system will be will be able will be displayed here right if you click on it then you can see the details of the car this is a registration as i explained you earlier also this is a login form from where you can log in this is a static contact us form where customer can fill the form but we are not saving any and this form details even we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page so this is a static page right this is a login now i am going to login as a customer so the user id is customer and the password is test once you log in inside the system you will get this dashboard you can see this is the dashboard right here you can see book a car car list my account so my account from where you can update your account and this is change password from where you can update your account password now i am going to book a car right here so the pickup date the pickup date is i think uh, this is the 14th of feb to 16th of feb right search car so you can see all of the cars are available here right if you book if you want to book any car just book your car and here you need to fill the form right name like kosho mobile number email id anything you can enter and identity card number right once you click on the book my car you can see this is the details of the booking card details right you can print the details here right so this is the flow right of booking the car right and now if i show you so you have booked this car between uh, the state right so this is the collect your address so this is the address from where you want to collect that car right so this is a booking id name mobile number and this is the collect your car from this address from this address you can collect your car this is a self self driven car website the mini project right so this is the whole functionality is missed the functionality is customer can register login search for the car and after that he will fill the details pickup details and uh, booking details date details and after that he will get the address from here he need to pick the car right so change password i already explained you the last thing is the logout right so this is a session driven menu you can see this is the menu this is a session driven menu and it will come according to you according to the user session right if i log out then you can see it's changed but if i log in it's different right so because it's a session driven it's checking the session that customer has login or not if customer has login then this menu will be appeared for that customer only right if customer doesn't have login then it will show like this right it will be common for all 
so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project car rental system as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in php and mass well which has customer features only right but if you need more enhancement if you need new features inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to our requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much